Begin. Good morning, class. Mr. Vizian here. This is my son, Matthew. Today, we're going to be doing corn syrup oatmeal convection demo lab. Okay, you're going to find this in Google Classroom under Chapter 1, Section 3, Convection. Please open that up now. Okay. The first thing you guys are going to do is answer the question, does the rock of the Earth's mantle move? Take it back two minutes to answer that and put your response on the Google Classroom document. Demo activity one. Corn syrup convection. Before the candle is lit, predict what you think will happen to the cardboard as the corn syrup heats up. Why? So what we have here is a metal container that we are going to put our corn syrup and our pieces of cardboard in. We have two bricks and we have a candle down below. A little more. That's good. Okay. Okay. We are then going to put the two pieces of cardboard on the corn syrup. Now as we do this, think about what part of the earth, the interior of the earth, does everything represent here? Next we are going to light the candle and we are going to take a video of what is going to happen. It is your job to use a complete sentence to make an observation of what you are seeing. Okay. Candle is now lit. Take a picture above. My assistant over here will take a picture from above. Assistant? Lab assistant. There we go. Professor Matthew. Video. Oh. Look at the video. What's happening? Eureka! It worked. That was a shocker. I will now blow out the candle. The candle's out. Once you have written up your observation under observation, you are going to answer the four questions on Google Classroom under the corn syrup oatmeal convection lab. One, why do you think the two pieces of cardboard separated? Two, how did the candle play an important role in, the dem in this demonstration? Three, what was the purpose of the pieces of cardboard? Four, what parts of the earth does this model represent? Why? Take a minute to answer those. Or five. Or ten. Demo activity two. Food color oatmeal. When the water is simmering, add a few drops of food coloring. Make a prediction. Food color? Boiling beaker of water. Dump a few drops in. Make a prediction what's going to happen to the food color in the water. Do that now. Okay, here we go. We're back. So we're going to add a few drops of food coloring to the 
Ha! Put your goggles down. And see what happens. Okay, watch as the water goes down and what's happening to the food coloring as it goes down. Notice the movement of the food coloring. Pause. We're gonna add some oatmeal to the boiling blue container full of water and you're gonna make a prediction of what's going to happen. So I can put it in now. No, they didn't even make a prediction. Well, they can, they can put make it in. a prediction in now. Okay, we're back. We're gonna add some oatmeal to the container. Okay, I'm gonna put the aluminum foil back onto the container and then we're gonna see what happens to the oatmeal in a few minutes. After the demonstration is done, please answer these questions. One, what do you notice about the boiling water before the food color was added? Two, describe what happened after the food color was added. Three, what happened after the oatmeal was added? Four, what parts of the earth does this model represent? Why? Take a few minutes to answer them now. Then submit.
That concludes our experiment on corn syrup oatmeal convection. Please submit all questions by 5 p.m. We will then add another video with the answers tomorrow afternoon. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay, okay.